Hello, dear students. Welcome you all to the fourth lecture of macroeconomics. And today's topic of discussion are social accounting, its concepts and components. So first of all, let's understand what is social accounting. And it's another name is national income accounting also. So this term social accounting was given by J.R. Hicks in 1942. And it is just simply an account for whole community or nation. Like we have individual accounts for individual firms, uh, like balance sheets we have, one side we show credit, one side we show debit, like that. It's just an accounting system for whole community, like for individual person or for individual firms have. So these social accountings, it shows uh, the interrelation between different sectors of the economy. Now, uh, how many sectors are there? Like primary, secondary, tertiary sectors are there. Apart from this, consumers are there who consume the product. Okay, some product uh, we manufacture, we do export, some things we import. Okay, so all these uh, government, government sector is there. Okay, industrial sector is there. Foreign companies are there. Okay, so how that relationship is there between different sector and how these sectors uh, supply and uh, demand goods. So all these um, relations we will understand under this social accounting. So from definition also we can see here uh, given by Peacock and Cooper. Social accounting is concerned with the statistical classification of activities of human beings and human institutes in ways which help us to understand the operation of economy as a whole. So this is basically what we are doing here. We are trying to understand uh, how the operations of economy is going through in a country, okay? One another definition by Kohler is given here. Social accounting is an application of double entry bookkeeping to social economic analysis. Now, what is this double entry bookkeeping? So in account, you might have heard this term. So it is a system of bookkeeping where every entry to an account required a corresponding and opposite entry to a different account, like examples, um, like debit and credit. Okay, you have seen left-hand side debit, right-hand side credit. So. Uh, this is called a double entry bookkeeping system. Now, let's move to next slide. Components of social accounting. So, the principal forms of activities in an economy, like in a country, but all economic activities happen. First of all, production. Okay, businesses and individual firms they do pr production of goods and services consumption happened who can consume them individual households can consume it or some other business units can consume it or sometimes government also do some kind of consumption capital accumulation is there okay government transactions happen and transactions with the rest of the world it means export and imports capital accumulation means uh, like capital generation, investment, saving, all these things happen. Government transaction, government also sometimes buy goods. They uh, put tax on different goods. They collect taxes. So all these kind of transactions and transactions with rest of the world in terms of export and import. So on if we are importing something, we have to pay money to the rest of the world. If we are exporting something, we will get some dollars on behalf of that. So these all are the five economic activities happen in any country okay production of goods consumption of good capital accumulation government transaction and transaction with the rest of the world so if the income and outgoing of a country relating to these five activities are shown in the form of accounts they show a close network of flow representing the basic structure of the economy. So suppose if you are producing something, so that production of something required raw material, obviously, 
okay so when you will buy the raw material you need to pay that raw material to the supplier so for supplier it is an earning for you per uh, individual or the in uh, firm it is a spending so one person is giving money another person is getting money so all these kind of activities the transaction happened and it it creates a cl close network of flow of money when we will discuss the circular flow of money it this concept will be more clear that time and these terms these flows are always expressed in money terms okay money flows from one sector to another sector now components of social account so what are the different components of social accounting we will discuss so under this first uh, component is production account okay so production account first of all uh, these accounts are related to business sectors of an economy and these are involves um, with production activities like manufacturing of goods and services trading okay so it covers public and private companies property firms and partnership and state owned business undertaking who are involved in production of something since the production activities take place within the sector all payments flow from it to the other sector now let's understand the production account with the help of this example uh, don't worry about these figures these are the entries from some other uh, entries of some questions just you see here uh, from one side payments, another side receipts, and how this production account is made up. First of all, understand this is the account for a manufacturing or trading uh, company and not a single company as a whole we are seeing here. So payment of personal sector, that is wages. If you are producing something, obviously you will be having some employees who are working. So you need to pay wages to them okay or maybe rent so that will come in payment sector okay another payment to government in terms of um, electricity bill might be or might be in terms of some taxes you will give something to government also so you are paying this and another person the another person like uh, employees here they will get this amount so it is an earning for them for you it is a spending you have to pay for this Business savings will be there. Some part of your uh, profit you will do saving also. So that is also a kind of payment. It will go out from your pocket. Import of goods and services might be for production of uh, some goods and services. You required uh, latest technology, machineries and all. So you will import those goods and services from rest of the world. So gross national income will be 309. Now another side we will see expenditure or receptions receipts okay consumption expenditure so you are producing something so its consumption will uh, some consumption will also happen so it will go here government purchases although government you are paying to government in terms of taxes but government can also purchase some goods and services from you gross private domestic investment uh, so uh, all that investment is happening domestic exports of goods and services you produce something now you are exporting it so that will also come so gross national expenditure you will see 309 so gross national income and expenditure these both will be on equilibrium okay production account national income and expenditure both are same and it is not only for a single form it is for all the firms in an economy who are involved in some kind of manufacturing so i hope this is clear production account second we have consumption account so consumption accounts refers to income and expenditure account to household and personal sectors household sector include all consumers and non-profit making institutes such as clubs and association okay now it is cumulative always remember it is cumulative household means we people who are doing who are consuming something we are giving money to 
another sector. So consumption expenditure will be there. Payment to government, because government also charge some kind of taxes to individuals or households also. They do personal savings also. And they can buy something, let's say some uh, imported watch you are buying. So you are transferring money to foreign foreigners also. So personal outlay and saving will be this much. Now, uh, what you are receiving, receipts from the business wages and salaries. So you are getting salaries uh, from manufacturing sectors and receipts from government, maybe some kind of subsidies you are getting or some other facilities you are getting from the government. So you see uh, here that uh, involvement of this payment of uh, wages and all from production account is becoming the receipt for consumption account, okay? So you can see that how different sectors are interrelated with each other. So here also personal outlay and saving will be equals to personal income. Third one is government account. So obviously government also um, like um, they also consume something and they uh, invest in businesses also and um, they have to do spendings also. So let's uh, see what is government account. So government account is related to outflow and inflow of government sectors. In the government sectors, they includes all public authorities like central, state, and local authorities in a country. Say, here you see one side is payment, another side is receipt, okay? Now, payments to businesses, payment to persons, government surplus, payment to foreigners. So, all these are government outlets and surplus, okay? Now, here payment from businesses in terms of taxes, receipt from uh, receipt from businesses, receipt from persons. So these are in terms of taxes they are collecting. Okay. So one side payment to business because government gives subsidies to business, uh, payments to person like welfare services and all other things are there, government surplus, whatever is there. Uh, and uh, payment to foreigners also, government also, you know, sometimes they uh, import something from foreign sectors or they have loans for their interest government need to pay. So payment to foreigners also will be there. So government outlet and surplus and government receipts, both are equal. Okay, don't go with the numbers, just see which all things will go under payment, what all things will come under receipt and how they are framing uh, account statement with the help of double entry system. So some total here, and some of the uh, some of uh, these two entries will be equal. This is government account, which will take the account of government payment as well as receipt. Third one is your capital account. Okay, so capital account shows that saving equals domestic and foreign investments. Saving is invested in fixed capital and inventories within the country and or international assets. So it is not like always you will save in your country only, or you can you will save in Indian or uh, your country's assets only. You can go to international assets also, okay? Gross private investment includes gross flow of capital goods and net change in inventories. So uh, let's come here and try to understand with this table, capital account when we are saying, one side payment, another side receipts, both will be equal. So gross private domestic investment. So what is gross private domestic investment? It includes gross flow of capital goods and net change in inventories, okay? And uh, net foreign investment is the foreign surplus on current account. So how much foreign investment is coming? Surplus is there. So this will be, the payment okay which is coming from the investor side another side business savings personal savings and government surplus so these two will be same last type or component of social account it is foreign account so it shows the transaction of countries with the rest of the world 
export and import both should be equal according to fin uh, foreign account okay so export of goods and services and import of goods and services transfer payment to foreigners by person transfer payment to foreigner by government net foreign investment so all these should be equal so what is going out and what is what is going out and what is coming in okay so this account is showing the foreign account which is maintaining the entries related to transaction of a country with rest of the world so these could be uh, balance or imbalance also it is not like always they will be in balance uh, it could be a imbalance situation also but here we are trying to just explain you how to make the uh, accounts and which entries go which portion so i hope this uh, concept as well as the components are clear to you if you have any query you can ping me or you can call me i will solve your query there thank you so much for watching this video